Forex Fortune Hunters, welcome aboard. Tom Wilmot speaking. And I'd like to do a short video as some questions have come up about uh, how to manipulate indicators. What are some of the subtleties? How can you change them around and get them to behave the way you want? So let's take a few minutes and just review the bidding here, okay? Uh, I'm going to begin with our first uh, first indicator that we use in the in the room, which is a chandelier, it's called. And it will be available to you in a couple of different places. First of all, if you go to Insert, Indicators, the first thing you'll find is a set of, aver a set of uh, uh, indicators that are standard with the platform. Kind of all of this group right here, and some of them even have pull-downs, oscillators, including the stochastic and so forth, average true range, and so on and so forth. I'm more interested in custom, and that's where I have a whole line of additional indicators that I've added over time or customized over time or had programmed uh, because I thought they'd be useful to my trading. I'm going to insert Chandelier Tom updated and the reason I'm uh, providing the updated one is there was a bug in the original code which I think we've fixed now and I'll tell you more about that. Uh, in this particular case we have an opportunity to change either the inputs and we're not going to do that today. These inputs seem to work perfectly okay. Uh, but I would like to tinker around with these two input areas, and I'd also like to tell you about visualization. And I'd also uh, like to tell you about color. First of all, I'm going to go to color, and I'm going to, this will come up standard as white and red. I'm going to make it a little thicker because every time we install it, we have to go back and do this anyway. All right. If you were to have a single line, obviously, like this one, you could change the style to any one of these. But style is only available to you if you have a single uh, smallest uh, width line. Okay, so once we go to two, that, that grays out and is no longer available. Okay, now we've got our inputs. And let's just put it on the screen and we'll come back to these others. There it is. Now the chandelier tells us when we're having support and when we're having resistance. And once we take out support by uh, having price drop through it, uh, or it, once we uh, uh, have price increase to, to uh, breach the chandelier to the north, then the lines change color and we now have support going in the opposite direction. Okay? Now, the situation is that um, what I'd like to get to next is whether we would like to be alerted when this change occurs from support to resistance. Now, first of all, this is a one-minute chart. So this could conceivably go on day after day after day with 8 or 10, uh, 12 switches in the chandelier on the shorter time frame. Notice that if we drop back to a 30-minute chart, here's 5 o'clock in the afternoon East Coast time, the next 5 o'clock time, right? one day. Notice in this particular case, here we only changed uh, the chandelier once. Here it changed once, twice, three times, then the next day, twice, and so forth. That's not going to clog up your alerts window. In other words, you're not going to be getting constant bells and whistles and notifications on the screen that the chandelier has shifted. So on a 15 or 30 or 1 hour chart, the chandelier is perfectly appropriate to uh, uh, print an alert and let's talk about how that works. If we were to go to Chandelier, and by the way, we just right-clicked anywhere on the desktop to get to this list, and we uh, look at it again, we have Sound Alert. Right now, that's set to false. If we set it to true, we will actually get a box appear on the screen along with a notification that there's a chandelier that has changed direction. Now, more to the point, if you have just trend is changing, that doesn't help you understand exactly which chart you're talking about. And notice I have like almost a dozen charts uh, being monitored at any one period in time. So in this particular case, I might want to type in, uh, and I'll go back and do it this way, uh, USD JPY. All right. Next time, Next time the uh, 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 notification box pops up on my screen, it won't be a neutral trend is changing. It will give us an opportunity to see that it's exactly the USD JPY chart, and I can go instantly to there. 
Okay, so that's what happens if you have true and a notification. Now you can leave this just as trend is changing, and if you should do that, let me show you that if you go to uh, the uh, terminal area on your chart, this is where you'd have your trade entries and so forth and so on. Experts will give you an indication of when that chandelier has changed. Now there were some significant changes here that I had before. Let me go down and find another one that I'll show you. These are all initializations and I don't know that we're going to get one changed here today. But it will read in this experts tab that you've just had a change and it will identify the pair. So if you don't want to bother to change and identify each chart uh, by a pair name, you can just uh, refer to this when the uh, box appears on your screen. Now another handy part about the chandelier, and, and, and many other indicators actually, is that you can also go to the tools menu when you're uh, sounding alerts, go to options, and notice here in the email area you can send yourself an email or a text to your cell phone when that uh, takes place. Now if this is a 15 minute chart and it only happens twice a day, okay, well that's perfectly okay. You're not going to be loading yourself with with uh, text messages, but if I'm away from my desk, I'm out, you know, uh, doing errands or going to the post office or whatever, and this occurs and I get a text message on my phone, I know I want to check in on the USD JPY as soon as I get back. Perhaps there's going to be a nice short trade to be taken here, depending upon my other technical analysis. Okay, so uh, just in summary on this particular part of the problem, we have a chandelier, we can right click on the screen, we can go to indicators list, we can click on chandelier, we can edit the function that's available to us, all right? And we can say to ourselves, when this alert occurs, we can be, have our attention drawn back to this particular currency pair, okay? You can save whatever configuration you have here in any template by uh, simply giving uh, the uh, exact uh, you know, uh, thrust of your inputs and then copying it or saving it as a new template. You can see we have our Fortune Hunter template here. Now, one more aspect of the chandelier and any other indicator that you may want to know about, that you may not know about right now, is as follows. Here's our chandelier. Let's click on it again. Let's take a look and inspect this and, and investigate this visualization tab. Now, right now, no matter what time frame this chart is changed to, the chandelier will appear. But let's let's get rid of it in certain cases. Uh, obviously, maybe we we don't want it on a one-hour chart, but we'd like to have it on the. Uh, I'm sorry, we want, we want to have it, uh, do not want to have it on the one hour, but we'd like to have it on all the other charts except the one minute where it might be too busy. We click OK, and if we hit our one hour chart, we can see that the chandelier now disappears. If we come back to the 30, there it is, there's the 5, but, but perhaps we're not interested in seeing it on the one, and so there it goes, and that's the end of the chandelier in that particular case, but it will be available to you in, a, in another time frame, and if you want to get rid of that idea or that uh, change that back to the, uh, uh, to the basic standard uh, default values, all time frames, click OK, and we're back in business, and if we were to click on the one, there it is. Now, one of the things that uh, has bothered a, a number of people is that if you get a chandelier turned on on a one-minute chart, and we've been scalping a lot in the room, then you'll find that it's just driving you crazy, especially if you have multiple five- and one-minute charts down on the bottom you're trying to keep track of. You're going to get an alert message every 30 seconds. It's going to drive you nuts, not to mention clogging up text messages on your cell phone. In that particular case, what we want to do is go back to the chandelier, edit, inputs, and simply turn this to false. And in that particular case now, with that setting, you will not get a box, you won't get a bell, and you will not get a text message. And so uh, that's how to manipulate these. 
Let's quickly look at another area just in summary to show you that if we go to the view menu and we go to navigator, we have a variety of our indicators listed here under this indicators tab. You can make it bigger or expand or uh, uh, contract it by this plus and minus over here. Here are our scripts, which are single function kinds of uh, robots. Here are expert advisors, which are robots that actually manage trade entries, exits, and, and uh and, and the whole shebang. Uh, here's our account data so we can look at practice accounts versus live accounts and so forth. But underneath the indicators list, notice that what we have here is the chandelier and I've done a variety of different versions of it and you can choose this and you can double click and you can adjust uh, from this position as well and you can also drag it to the chart and install it as it uh, as it would appear. All right. Now let's see if that actually put two of these on place. Yes, indeed. When I dragged it over, I now have two chandeliers, and I might want to do that if I wanted different settings. Okay. You can have the same indicator on the chart twice with different inputs. We're going to delete it here. So that's sort of a summary of what you can do with every one of these indicators how you can manipulate it, how you can see it in different time frames, and how you can turn the inputs on and off to uh, best suit your purpose for the time frame that you're using. I hope that will be helpful to your trading. Thanks for listening.